time no see it's been a month since i posted another youtube video on this channel but i'm finally back to do a fun little transformation for you guys if you haven't seen in the title i'm transforming myself into an abg which if you don't know what it is here you go obviously i do not look anything like an abg because i look and dress and sound like a 12 year old boy but we're gonna change that so the main thing that really sparked this idea was the fact that i'm getting my hair dyed tomorrow i'm not gonna tell you how or like what color or anything because i'm gonna be showing you that later on in the video but that basically started like this whole idea for me and plus i've just seen a ton of transformation videos on youtube you guys probably have too um, I'm just super late to the bandwagon because I'm I'm just always late on trends. So for this challenge, basically what I'm going to do is change my hair, makeup, and wardrobe to fit the style of an ABG. And I'm pretty excited. This is... So if you guys want to see how this whole transformation plays out, just keep on watching. And let's just get started. So a little update, it's currently 3.30 in the morning. So basically I was out for like the whole day just shopping and then I got home around like 10ish, worked out and then I took a shower. And now we're here. So anyways, to get this transformation going, I got a few things while shopping today. And I picked up this uh, Holika Holika Pig Clear Blackhead mask. I've always seen people try this out. And I finally thought that it'd be appropriate to do one now, especially cause um, I'm getting some pretty bad blackheads. Step one is to place the nose strip on your nose for 15 to 20 minutes, remove it slowly, and wipe off any blackhead or impurities from pores. So while I'm waiting for this, I decided that I'm going to be painting my nails. So I have these two OBI colors. This one's in the shade Stop It, I'm Blushing, and then this one's in the shade Barefoot in Barcelona. But I think I'm going to go for this one. Um, on camera, it looks more like a white, but it's more like a light pink in person. And I think that this just suits the whole vibe. Two is to wet your nose with water. Place step two onto your nose, and then after 10 to 15 minutes, remove it slowly. I don't even know if I put this on correctly, to be honest, but it just smells bad. I have a super low pain tolerance, so this is not going so well. Oh my god, I'm crying. Not gonna lie, this nail polish isn't impressing me like at all. The layers like all look so bad. The layers just like look all uneven and chunky and not cute like at all low-key upset but i mean good thing i didn't pay like full price for this nail polish so i just took off the nose strips and my nose feels like actually so clean right now like i didn't think that there'd be a difference but it feels so good like and smooth so maybe i just really needed to clean out my pores but it feels like great it's almost like 4 30 in the morning and I am getting very tired, so once my nail polish dries, I am going to sleep, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Hello everyone, so today is the big day. I'm dyeing my hair, and I'm really nervous actually because I haven't dyed my hair in a long time, and I'm just like scared to see like how it would turn out. So here's the situation. So basically right now, I'm going to my hairdresser and I actually live like 20 to 30 minutes away from there but here I am leaving 10 minutes before my appointment is 
supposed to be. So I just got to the place and I'm like so nervous. I don't even know why. Probably just because I haven't dyed my hair in forever, but the girl is really nervous. Also, it's so hot. I don't know why we're leggings today. Hello everyone, I am back home and I am actually like so in love with my hair. It turned out a lot lighter and like blonder up here especially, but I'm just really happy with how it turned out and I'm so excited. I'm gonna be doing the last few steps of this challenge, which is basically the makeup and the outfit. I'm quite excited. I kind of wish I did get boba, but it was just like too far for me. A few things that I purchased for the makeup um, look are these eyelashes from Ardell. These are the Demi Wispies, and I found a pack from Marshalls, and it was like pretty inexpensive, so I just got it from there. Um, I rarely put on fake eyelashes, and when I do, um, they tend to fall off, so hopefully they don't fall off. And then I also have these, like, little eyebrow shavers from Daiso, and I'm gonna be just cleaning up the hairs around my eyebrows because I haven't done that in a while. So here is the completed makeup look. It is quite heavy for um, what I usually wear like on a daily basis. And also the eyelashes are about to come off because it turns out that I don't have my eyelash glue. I just took it off from the packaging and the thing that they used to like stick on here, I just used that as my adhesive. So hopefully they stay on for the rest of this video. But I'm really into this whole look going on. I did like a smoky eye with some winged liner and then kept the lips natural. Man, I wish I was going somewhere right now because I got like a full beat on. My hair is like nicely curled for once. So I do have a couple of options of what I think I'm going to be wearing. So the first one is this halter top. It is really cropped. I mainly bought this because it was on sale, but it is just a little bit too out there for me right now. Um, so I feel like this would be a really nice uh, fit for the, out for the outfit. And then I also got this yesterday. It is a black, just simple tank top from Target. Um, I think this would be a really nice one too. I have this tube top from Tommy Hilfiger. This is really cute. A lot of these I don't really wear up too often, mainly because I'm too insecure to actually wear these things out. I finally put on the outfit. Here I just have on a few rings, or only two rings, but these are just from Target. And then I have these gold hoops that I got from H&M. Finally for my hair, I Put on these cute little cheetah clips once again from Target. For sunglasses, I have these ones. I got them from Francesca's. They're super cute. I love the gold rimming on it, and I feel like the shape just frames my face really well. And of course, last but not least, the bag. This is the main star of the show, and this is my Louis Vuitton mini poche or pochette. Um, I think it's super cute. I got it off of a resale site. Um, I'll leave it the link down below. Um, but I just love how it looks and I actually did buy this with my own grad money. So I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I'm just really excited about this purchase and I'm really happy. I feel like this just ties the whole look in together. Isn't she so cute? She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to 
This is basically the end of my ABG 24 hour challenge. I had a lot of fun doing this and I loved the end result. I think the makeup's really fun and the outfit's pretty cute too. It's just I don't think I'd ever wear this out or at least for a while because I feel like this is a little bit too mature for me right now. I really love how the hair turned out. I didn't think I'd be able to pull off something like this, especially with highlights. Um, but I really love how it looks and I'm so happy that I tried it out. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Honestly, props to anyone who can pull off this look every day. It is definitely not easy, especially putting on the fake eyelashes. That was the biggest struggle for me. Doing this challenge was a lot of fun and I hope you guys found some entertainment and enjoyment out of this because it was just a lot of fun to do. And if you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos in the future. Once again, I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. I want the real thing